If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's a sentiment that no video game franchise embodies, like Pokemon. That shouldn't be taken as an insult, since even the people developing the series maintain that, like any lasting sport or game, Pokemon doesn't need to change to stay relevant. Instead, the developers of Game Freak simply iterate upon each element of gameplay, introduce new creatures for players to collect, and let marketing take care of the rest. As the franchise closes on in 20 years and prepares to add yet another Nintendo console to his resume, we thought we'd look back on not the games or creatures that we treasure most, but the ones that keep us up at night. Here are the 10 most disturbing Pokemon facts. Gathita sees dead people. Sure, it's disturbing enough that Gathita resembles a baby that stares at something only it can see, but once it evolves into Gathita at level 32, the creep factor gets sent sky high. With hypnosis master, the creature steals people away at night. Whether it steals people away as offerings to the thing only it can see is impossible to know. Once the evolution to got the tools to achieve that level 41, this creature uses its psychic abilities to see the future, specifically the death of their trainer. While useful combat, having this Pokemon in one's arsenal is just too creepy. You can always look on the bright side. If got the tools in hypno kidnapping a trainer, it's probably only because it knows death is imminent. Spoink can't stop hopping. If you're looking for a precious and spunky critter to keep by your side, then Spoink fits the bill. Sure, it's a little weird that the pig-headed Pokemon uses a giant pink pearl on its head to amp amplify its psychic abilities, but the way it hops around the, on the spring it possesses in the place of a body? Adorable! Until you learn that the springing isn't a sign of Spoink's rambunctious attitude, but required to live. That's right! If Spoink stops springing, he stops breathing, stops doing pretty much anything, really. Try to imagine what kind of paranoia results when death is just a misstep away, and it suddenly becomes easier to understand why Spoink is also a kleptomaniac, after pursuing a bigger and better pearl. Duskull. Cry for me, child. Sure, ghosts are always spooky, and it's no mystery why Duskull, styled after the Grim Reaper, puts us on edge. But the single glowing eye sliding back and forth between eye sockets is just the tip of the iceberg, where additional eeriness is concerned. Duskull is a nocturnal Pokemon, mostly inhabiting dense forests, but it's interested in woodland creatures, only children. This floating Pokemon is rumored to pursue kids who don't follow the rules. Why? Because it enjoys the sound of them crying. But hey, it's, it's, it's not all creepy. Once Duskull evolves into Dusclops, it is capable of swallowing anything into its body cavity. Never to be seen again. We'll let you use your imagination. Drowsy. Delicious Nightmares. We don't know if there's something about the psychic type Pokemon that brings out the most troubling in the developers, but Drowsy is yet another hypnotizing critter that makes our skin a crawl. The aptly named Pokemon puts its enemies to sleep so that it may more easily feast on its dreams. While it certainly places Drowsy under the odd column among the series' more fun loving Pokemon, it's actually based on the Japanese Baku. Spirits that feed on people's nightmares. What loves most is the dreams of children. We don't know why, and don't want to know either. In case Drowsy's powers weren't enough of an invasion of privacy, it also remembers every dream it's consumed, and shares it with them who's sleeping near them. How, how many pets can do that? Grimer, aka Walking Death. It's disgusting enough that Grimer spent its time in polluted water, feasting on pollution and sewage to survive, but get this Pokemon moving through the world and it will never be the same. Literally, any time Grimer passes over the ground, a toxic slime, grime? slime renders the earth incapable of ever again supporting life. If that wasn't hellish enough, 
The slime also sprouts new grimers to, to continue the catastrophe. It's not all bad, though. Once grimer evolves into muck, it gets bigger and more poisonous, capable of rendering the entire lake toxic with a single drop and affecting any human beings if it desires. Why was the Pokemon this dangerous and not attractive green in the first place? Who knows? Maybe the developers thought Mother Nature should be as terrorized as actual people. Paris. Parasite evil. While Paris' symbolic relationship with the mushrooms on its back isn't exactly normal, it's beneficial for both. Harris feeds the mushrooms with its body, and the fungus provides additional means of defense. Exactly how much control the mushrooms can exert over the Pokemon isn't clear, but odd uh, goes to disturbing when Paris evolves into Parasect. It's hard to say exactly what change takes place at level 24, but for some reason, the mushrooms take their chance and merge into a single organism, taking over the Paris in the process. With heightened aggression and a pair of zombified milky eyes, Anything cute or endearing about Paris is replaced by a demonic drone known as Parasect. Drifloon Murder Balloon How scary can a Pokemon based on a floating balloon be? Sure, it's got a pair of tiny hands. Mm. But what devious use could such a light-hearted creature have for them? According to, to the Pokedex, they're used to steal children away. The Japanese version clarifying that Drifloon is taking children to the world of the dead. With the developers giving a bonus every time they created a Pokemon that would make parents uncomfortable. The good news is that Drifloon doesn't remain purple, harmless looking balloon with an interest in kidnapping children. At level 20, Drifloon evolves into Driflim, training his spindy arms for four stronger ones, and it's eyes to red. Sleep tight, kitties. Yeah, mask. There will be tears. As proof that not every Pokemon has a complicated or inspired name, we give you Yeah, mask. It's a ghost holding a mask. We don't mean that this Pokemon is a ghost type. It is actually the ghost of a human being who has died. The mask carries is a representation of the one it used to have while living. That bit of character story creeps us out for obvious reasons, but the developers went into even greater depth. Besides occasionally staring at the mask and breaking into tears, the mask has an even more sinister side, since the mask itself carries traces of a Yamask's human identity. Someone wearing it will allow the Pokemon to possess them. To what end? Who knows? If trend holds though we'd put our money on kidnapping children once it evolves into Cophagrigus. This Pokemon uses its sarcophagus body to lure humans and Pokemon and turn them into z zombified mummies. Bennett Geppetto's Nightmare there's no need to explain why Bennett gives us the willies, since the most apt description of this creature is a doll-like Pokemon that is obsessed with pure hatred. You see, Bennett wasn't always a Pokemon, but a doll that was driven into being by the hatred felt from the child that abandoned it. That's already nightmare fuel, but the creators went further, making... Bennett poke itself with needles to generate energy for attacks, and even sporting a zipper in the place of a mouth. And what makes Bennett even more disturbing is that it evolves from Shuppet, a fairly adorable little ball of gray that is drawn to people's feelings of envy. I guess it's poetic that evolving let Shuppet turn that envy into action, but a zipper in mouth? Do they know kids play these games? Cubone. Mommy issues. From first glance, Cubone is about as cool as a pet could possibly be. Essentially a dinosaur. Cubone walks on its hind legs, swings a bone club, and wears a skull over its face, peeking out from under it like a little child 
trying to appear tough for his friends. But the vast expanse of Pokemon, he won't, might just be the most disturbed of them all. You see, a skull isn't part of a Halloween costume or a triggered Kumo discovered while navigating a Looney Tunes desert. It, be it belongs to its mother. Apparently, it wasn't enough for Kubo to simply cry in the night for his loss of m mother, and a more literal connection was needed. We're not going to ask how Kubo actually acquired the skull of his mother, but things are creepier when it evolves into Marowak. No longer simple. The skull fuses itself to the Pokemon upon evolution, meaning this creature is permanently attached to his mother in a way Norman Bates would envy. Conclusion We don't let those keep you up at night, and sure to remember that next time you stumble across a Pokemon that first looks adorable, beware that the little fuzzy creature may have a twisted origin story of its own. Which of the facts on our list do you find the most disturbing? Have we rounded the, up the ten creepiest story? Are there a few more oddities you wish to add to the list?